Hi everyone! Today is National Black Poetry Day, and I'm going to be reading seven poems by Black artists. Make sure that you stick around to the end, because I'm going to be reading a poem by Jupiter Hammond, the first Black person to be a published poet in America. The first poem I'm reading is A Word is a Miracle. It's from the book Wild Beauty by Ntozake Shange. A word is a miracle. Just letters that somehow wind up, clumsy fingers, with meaning. My life was inarticulate. No one knew what I meant. I could capture no beauty or wistful memory. A word on a blank page, though, that is triumphant. An infinite illusion, hardcore fact, of this messy world where whole cities are poisoned, and my universe is an error. A word, beckoning jihadis, blessing lepers, urging revolutions. A smile, a miracle of sound to be cherished. The next poem is Truth by Gwendolyn Brooks. And if sun comes, how shall we greet him? Shall we not dread him? Shall we not fear him? After so lengthy a session with shade, Though we have wept for him, though we have prayed all through the night years, what if we wake one shimmering morning to hear the fierce hammering of his firm knuckles hard on the door? Shall we not shudder? Shall we not flee? Into the shelter, the dear thick shelter of the familiar propitious haze. Sweet is it, sweet is it, to sleep in the coolness of snug unawareness. The dark hangs heavily over the eyes. Next, we have Sisters by Lucille Clifton for Elaine Phillip on her birthday. Me and you be sisters. We be the same. Me and you coming from the same place. Me and you be greasing our legs, touching up our edges. Me and you be scared of rats, stepping on roaches. Me and you. Come running high down Purdy Street one time, and Mama laugh and shake her head at me and you. Me and you got babies, got 35, got black. Let our hair go back, be loving ourselves, be loving ourselves. Be sisters. Only where you sing, I poet. The next poem is Caged Bird by Maya Angelou. A free bird leaps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the current ends and dips his wing in the orange sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a bird that stalks down his narrow cage can seldom see through his bars of rage. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The caged bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill, for the caged bird sings of freedom. The free bird thinks of another breeze, and the trade winds soft through the sighing trees, and the fat worms waiting on a dawn bright lawn, and he names the sky his own. But a caged bird stands on the grave of dreams. His shadow shouts on a nightmare scream. His wings are clipped and his feet are tied, so he opens his throat to sing. The caged bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still. And his tune is heard on the distant hill for a caged bird sings of freedom. The next poem is to S.M., a young African painter on seeing his works. Sometimes artists can be inspired to work in their own mediums after seeing another artist's work in a different medium. This poem is by Phyllis Wheatley. She was an enslaved African poet in America. To show the laboring bosom's deep intent and thought in living characters to paint. When first thy pencil did those beauties give and breathing figures learnt from thee to live. How did those prospects give my soul delight, a new creation rushing on my sight? Still wondrous youth, each noble path pursue, on deathless glories fix thine ardent view. Still may the painters and the poets fire, 
to aid thy pencil and diverse conspire. And may the charms of each seraphic theme conduct thy footsteps to immortal fame. High to the blissful wonders of the skies, elate thy soul and raise thy wishful eyes. Thrice happy when exalted to survey that splendid city crowned with endless day, whose twice six gates on radiant hinges ring, celestial Salem blooms in endless spring. Calm and serene thy moments glide along, and may the muse inspire each future song. Still with sweets of contemplation blessed, may peace with balmy wings your soul invest. But when these shades of time are chased away, and darkness ends in everlasting day, on what seraphic pinions shall we move, and view the landscapes in the realms above? There shall thy tongue in heavenly murmurs flow, and there my muse with heavenly transport glow. No more to tell of Damon's tender sighs, or rising radiance of Aurora's eyes. For nobler themes demand a nobler strain, and purer language on the ethereal plain. Cease, gentle muse, the solemn gloom of night now seals the fair creation from my sight. The next poem is Praise to the Mother of Jamaican Art by Lorna Goodison. She was the nameless woman who created images of her children sold away from her. She suspended her wood babies from a rope around her neck. Before she ate, she fed them, touched bits of pounded yam and plantains to sealed lips, always urged them to sip water. She carved them of wormwood, teeth and nails her first tools. Later, she wielded a blunt blade. Her spit cleaned the faces and limbs, the pitch oil of her skin burnished them. When woodworms bored into their bellies, she warmed castor oil they purged. She learned her art by breaking hard rock stones. She did not sign her work. And now we're at our last poem. This one is by Jupiter Hammond. He was born in 1711 into slavery. He was a preacher, author, and a poet. And at 74, he was still enslaved, but it was his dream that other young black people would have freedom. He was the first black published poet in America, and many of his works have a religious theme. On October 17th, we celebrate Black Poetry Day because of Jupiter Hammond. This poem is called An Evening Thought, Salvation by Christ with Penitential Cries. Salvation comes by Jesus Christ alone, the only Son of God. Redemption now to everyone that loved his holy word. Dear Jesus, we would fly to thee and leave off every sin. Thy tender mercy well agree, salvation from our King. Salvation comes now from the Lord, our victorious King. His holy name be well adored, salvation surely bring. Dear Jesus, give thy spirit now, thy grace to every nation, and hand the Lord to whom we bow, the author of salvation. Dear Jesus, unto thee we cry, give us the preparation. Turn not away from thy tender eye. We seek thy true salvation. Salvation comes from God we know, be true and only one. It's well agreed and certain true, he gave his only son. Lord, hear our penitential cry, salvation from above. It is the Lord that doth supply with his redeeming love. Dear Jesus, by thy precious blood, with the world redemption have, Salvation now comes from the Lord, he being thy captive slave. Dear Jesus, let the nations cry, and all the people say, Salvation comes from Christ on high, haste on tribunal day. We cry as sinners to the Lord, salvation to obtain. It is firmly fixed his holy word, ye shall not cry in vain. Dear Jesus, unto thee we cry, and make our lamentation. O let our prayers ascend on high, we felt thy salvation. Lord, turn our dark, benighted souls, give us a true motion, and let the hearts of all the world make Christ their salvation. Ten thousand angels cry to thee, ye louder than the ocean. Thou art the Lord, we plainly see, thou art the true salvation. Now is the day, accepted time, the day of salvation. Increase your fate, do not repine, awake ye every nation. Lord, unto whom? Now we shall go, or seek a safe abode. Thou hast the word of salvation too, the only Son of God. Ho, every one that hunger hath or pineth after me, salvation be thy leading staff to let the sinner free. Dear Jesus, unto thee we fly, 
Depart, depart from sin. Salvation doth at length supply the glory of our King. Come ye blessed of the Lord, salvation greatly given. O turn your hearts, accept the word, your souls are fit for heaven. Dear Jesus, we now turn to thee, salvation to obtain. Our hearts and souls do meet again. To magnify thy name, come Holy Spirit, heavenly dove. The object of our care, salvation doth increase our love. Our hearts hath felt thy fear, now glory to be God on high. Salvation high and low, and thus the soul on Christ rely. To heaven surely go, come bless Jesus, heavenly dove. Accept repentance here, salvation give with tender love. Let us with angels share. So those are all seven poems. Happy Black Poetry Day! If you want to find some more Black poetry on your own, there are a lot of great resources online. One of my favorites is poetryfoundation.org. If you want to make some of your own, I'll put a link in the description to a great place where you can find journals that are made specifically for poets and lyricists. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!